Hello and welcome my fellow builders in the ecosystem. I'm Julian, Senior Developer Advocate at SDF and your guide on today's journey. Today, we'll walk through deploying and interacting with the Hello World smart contract using Sorbonne's powerful auto completion feature with ZSH. So without further ado, let's open up VS Code and dive right in. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and get into our environment setup. Here on my screen, I have the .zsh environment file and we're simply going to source the .zsh RC file. This ensures that any configurations or commands within the RC file are loaded every time our shell starts. All right, moving on to the ZSH RC file. Here we set the path to access Soraban directly from the terminal. And then notice on this line, we initialize ZSH's completion system. This is a built-in feature of ZSH that powers the auto completion capabilities. Right after this, we load Soraban's auto completion. And this means when we type Soraban commands in our terminal and hit the tab key, ZSH will automatically suggest the next possible commands or arguments. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into a demonstration. So I'll go ahead and open up a new terminal here. And again, I'm using ZSH, so I'm specifying that I'm using the ZSH shell. If you're using a different shell, you can type in bash, uh, PowerShell, etc. But you will have to specify this in this line here. So I'll go ahead and CD into our Hello World repository, I mean our Hello World directory. And we'll just go ahead and start messing around. So I'll type in Soro and then tab. So we have Soro Bon, uh, let's say contract, right? And then I want to see what the functionality is that lives here. So we have bindings, build, bump, deploy, etc. So I want to build this. And you don't even have to finish typing out the word. You can type out a portion of it, hit tab, and Soraban autocomplete will take care of the rest. So we'll go ahead and do Soraban contract build and wait for this to build. This is going to generate our WASM files, which we'll use in the next step for deployment. All right, now that we have our contracts built, let's go ahead and keep exploring some functionality. So Soraban, I want to deploy this. So I'll say Soraban contract dep. Uh, deploy and then let's go ahead and see what the functionality behind all of these are we're going to need the wasm file so i'll type in wasm and we'll type in target target wasm 32 tab um, and what's available here so we'll say release all right let's go ahead and see i want the sorbonne hello world contract wasm file so as you can see there i didn't even have to type out the entire line all I had to do was type out portions of the line and just hit tab until I found the location of the file. I'll go ahead and deploy this here. All right, we have a local ledger with our contract stored. And now it's time to start interacting with this contract. So we'll say Soro Bon contract. And what methods exist here? So we're going to say invoke, invoke, right? And we're going to need that ID in that ID and we'll say call the method and pass those arguments all right so we're going to invoke the hello method at this ID and we're going to pass in the argument world you could see that we have the data from the call here and we have our message hello world returned so that's just a little bit on how you can start leveraging Soraban auto completion for smart contract deployment and interaction. Now, I'd like to say that this tool is capable of so much more, you know, just by typing in Soraban and hitting tab and hitting tab again, we could just quickly iterate through all the methods here and get an overview of everything that exists within the Soraban CLI. So I highly suggest you mess around with it, go ahead and install it and start utilizing it in your own development workflow. If you're looking for official installation documentation, you can head over to the Soraban docs under the setup tab under getting started. So thanks again for sticking around. I hope you learned something. As always, my name is Julian Martinez, and until next time, happy coding.